Welcome back to Retro Rewire. My name is JJ, and today we are in the Akihabara neighborhood, also known as Akiba. And the reason why we're here is because I want to show you guys a few of the retro gaming shops that I frequent. And I think right now is an interesting time to be in Japan because one, during, you know, because of the pandemic, COVID-19, you don't see a lot of tourists. So it's a little bit of a unique time and experience for those of us that are foreigners living in Japan. But with that said, let's go ahead and make our way to the first few gaming shops that are nearest to the station. So let's go check it out. And let's start with the first one, Surugaya. It's pretty close to the station. Um, yeah, kind of interesting right now because there's not a lot of uh, tourists given the whole uh, pandemic and whatnot. You know, they're limiting who can come in into the country so really the only foreigners you're gonna see is uh is um didn't mean to scare that kid <laughs> is gonna be those that are already living here with like a long-term uh, visa but anyhow really close to the station and if you see here this this lens is actually pretty wide but it's this Surugaya here. And all the retro gaming goodness is on the game floor, as you see here. Game floor, and that is uh, down below. You just go in, head down the stairs, and you'll be in retro gaming goodness. Now, as much as I would like to, I'm not gonna be able to go in just because they don't allow filming. And then with the size of my gear, it's like, you know, obviously, huge but they do have like a little kiosk out here pretty cool Super Nintendo to a clone system um, yeah and they got a couple figures and whatnot so it's kind of cool these are all like discounted ones outside but anyhow, uh, yeah, definitely come here. And the thing about uh, the Surugaya here is they have pretty good stock, but some of their games are not always in the best condition, but they have stuff and some stuff is pretty good condition. But anyhow, that was the first place. Let's go ahead and uh, keep it going. But yeah, I usually like to stop there first just because it's so close to the station. There's also a book off nearby, but they're kind of pricier. So I usually go there um, after I've done all my purchases. Because sometimes, sometimes a, deal, a deal can be had. Anyhow, let's go. It's so bright out, I should have brought sunglasses. Now there is, hold on, I'm gonna tie my shoe. But there is a shop here, um, Gamers, but I've never actually been in there because I think it's more like a anime thingy. But I've never seen any evidence that they have any games. So we're just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going through the hustle and bustle of Akiba. Let's go ahead and go. Um, all right, let's see here. Some of the maids are out in full force. Now there is, if you see here, there is this, this Gale Hyper Media Shop. But they have a bunch of new stuff. And really, ah, you know, I'm living that retro life. And then we have here the Sega Arcade. 
Let me get up. Yeah, up is up, down is down on this gimbal. But I'm so used to playing Star Fox that in reverse. But we're gonna cross the street and then go to just kind of do the the tour in the way that kind of that I go about it when I when I first uh, well when I come out here to shop. Just gonna wait for the light. And it's super hot, so if you're coming out here in the summer, make sure to bring some kind of towel, like a little towel, just so you can wipe the sweat off. But anyhow, let's go ahead and cross. Let's go ahead and cross. And I usually go like straight. And it's funny, you'll see a lot of the maids covering their faces. But you see here, we have the Tokyo Radio Department Store. And this place, this place houses two, two game shops. But right now, they're actually, uh, I think both of them are closed because of the pandemic. Or they have extremely limited hours, but usually, usually just like closed. But you can get all sorts of cool things there. A lot of little cool little gadgets. Anyhow, let's keep it going. And then we have, we're coming up on Trader, Trader 2. They have all sorts of like, not really retro stuff. I think as retro as it gets here is like DS. DS, um, what else? DS, PS3, I'm kneeling because I'm tying my shoe again, it's loose. Actually, I don't actually tie my shoes, I just tuck the laces in but for some reason today. But anyhow, this is Trader, PS4, Switch, all that good stuff. DS, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's all right, it's all right, shop. I like going there. And then we go a little bit further down because we have another shop. And this shop, this shop is also um, more newer stuff, but sometimes you find some stuff. But it's like the flagship uh, Mulan store. They got a little satellite store, which I definitely hit up. I prefer the satellite store, but you see here across the street, we have Mulan Akiba and this place is kind of interesting because they sometimes have live idol concerts here so if you're into that thing you know you could definitely definitely hit that up um, they also have a few video games mostly newer stuff you see here they kind of have some pricing PC PC Engine Mini in stock. Get it while you can. But anyhow, let's keep it moving. Sometimes you can have some, you can get some good deals there on like hardware and stuff. Anyhow, anyhow. Oh, and then we have like a little, I guess I'll show you guys this. Little arcade center. Um, yeah, that's not really my thing. I'd rather blow my money on booze. Anyhow, let's go ahead, keep moving. I'll probably be cutting. I don't think anybody wants to see the whole unedited cut. But anyhow, we're gonna go down this street. Now this street is full of like these maids. It's kind of funny, but there is, there is pretty good retro um, gaming shops down here. There's one in particular, which is Super Potato. And my lace is loose again. Ah, I think I'm gonna cut the video so I can just tie it properly. But, but before, before I do that, there's this Akiba right here in the corner. And this place is a good place to get like memory cards. They're actually pretty cheap. So you can get some for your Switch. And they have 
They have them right here. But they have some pretty good ones. I don't know if they're fake or not, but they're pretty good deal, and that's where I, that's where I bought mine. Um, what else? There's all sorts of stuff here. But we have over here the world famous super potato. And it's actually, it's actually three floors. If you see here, um, the first floor, Sega Saturn and Sega Goodness. Four, fourth floor is a uh, PlayStation and 64. And then the top floor is like a little, uh, little arcade, little arcade center. And uh, they actually have uh, soda pop and snacks. So you can play, you can drink and play at the same time. But uh, let's go ahead and go. The thing was dropping out. I was pretty slick there too. When I, was, when I bent down to show you guys the sign, I tucked in my lace again. Here's this eSports lounge. All sorts of PC, PC stuff, if that's your thing. Gonna cross the street here, gonna take a look, make sure I don't get run over. Yeah, I'm good, I'm gold. Now, if you see here, we're approaching like this huge building. And here, they actually have like little uh, live events sometimes. You know what, let me stop and tie this darn shoelace. Be right back, aha. Okay, shoelace is tied, but if you see here, this building is Mandarake. Um, it's like, eight floors or something like that. But that's actually where I purchased um, Dragon Slayer. And their prices are actually pretty, they're not cheap, but pretty much whatever they're selling is in really good condition. And you don't have, you know, it's gonna be complete. It's gonna include all the leaflets. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I definitely recommend coming here because if you're, if you're definitely a collector and don't mind paying like a, a higher price for, for something that's more um, complete and quality, you know, this is the place to go. And it's also a cool place to see like a whole bunch of figures. They, they deal in all sorts of figures and whatnot. But check out this thing. You can swap the heads on that. That's kind of funny. But yeah, up on the, I believe it's the sixth floor, one of those. Let's take a look. Yep, there it is. Sixth floor, CD, DVD, game. And they got all sorts of cool stuff in the, in the display cases. Um, let's keep it moving, keep it strolling. And directly across the street, oh, it's so windy. But directly, directly across the street, there's Trader 3. I don't know if you guys can see it, but big old tree, which trees are good. But there's a, uh, there, that's Trader 3. I like going to the original Trader. That's the one that has all the good stuff. Now I missed two game shops just because I went through the back. There's some that are through the main alley, but just directly ahead, uh, pointing at it right here, this building is Trader 3. You can get figures and all sorts of other stuff. So let's go ahead and go through here. I also actually come here to buy like uh, camera gear and all, all sorts of other stuff. Just passed by uh, a Mr. Donut. This place is pretty good. But anyhow, let's go ahead and go. Keep it going. All right, and we're coming up on uh, on Trader. This is like the headquarters, and this is my one of my favorite places to go. Sometimes they have so-so prices and sometimes they have pretty good prices. So let's take a look at their floor guide. 
So you can, you can see here, um, B1 is purchasing, first floor is smartphones, tablets, uh, modern games, two is the best floor, retro gaming, and import gaming too, they got a few uh, US and European uh, games, three is figures, um, then we have, looks like anime and movies, and then the fifth and sixth is your adult stuff. But I've never been that high, true story. Usually just keep it to the second, first floor. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool place. Now they won't let me film in there, unfortunately. I did ask, so I'll have to come another time. And when I have permission. But definitely a cool place. And then just right around the corner, we'll keep it moving, there's a few, uh, there's a few other spots that I wanna show you guys. This is like a PC store, all sorts of used stuff in there. So if you're looking for stuff like that. Uh, this, Maratsu in the corner. This is where I go in order to get like soldering and all that, all that, you know, stuff for like repair, precision screwdrivers. It's good for, uh, you know, if you're repairing old, co old consoles. And then, we have right here, Deer Stage. This is where a bunch of idols play. It's kind of interesting. You could hear the dudes like cheering them on. Again, if that's your thing, be about it. Um, and sometimes, I wonder what that is. There's like, that little sign has like a little, a little Chung Lee on it, but it looks like it's some kind of aroma body stuff. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but we have over here, we have another store. This is kind of a cool store here, down below. I don't even think they're open. But uh, if you see here, this is all about retro PC gaming, among other things. You could also get like, uh, Joystick buttons like Sanwa, Saimitsu, all sorts of stuff. They have them loose. You get all sorts of hardware, but it's called Beep. Um, they also have retro games, but a lot of the retro stuff they deal in is like uh, like PC. But I definitely you know recommend you hit that up. And then right next door to them, we have the main uh, Surugaya. This place is. Uh, this place is pretty good. It is retro gaming. It's, it's quite small and cramped. It would be definitely be hard with the size of my, my video rig to like film in there. And they don't even allow it, but. And then actually, if you go all the way down here to like the main avenue, there is another retro gaming shop that's ran by a uh, father, or sorry, mother and son. I've only been there once, and they seem to have, they seem to have good stuff. But let's, let's keep going this way. Um, let's see. Kebab, that's a good place to go if you wanna, if you're gonna need a break. What else, what else, what else we got? There's also lots of little shops that have like, um, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, capsule toys. But we're gonna see this here. This is Retro Game Camp. It's on the bottom there. They also have, um, obviously retro games but their store see we have they have this one um, but it's it's closed but they do have another one right next door and it's right here two floors two floors uh, 
Second floors were all the 32-bit stuff, 8-bit, 16-bit, and I think Nintendo 64 is on the base floor. Their prices are kind of high, I'm not gonna lie. But, you know, I still check because every now and then you can get, you can get like a decent deal. And then we pretty much, if you're pretty good and you're oriented, you can kind of see that we just went around the corner and we're back to where, where Trader is at. And see their map there? It kind of shows where all their uh, locations are. But yeah, that's Trader. It's a good place. And let's go ahead and go this way. Um, check this out, PC, if you're into that. I think you could rent or, I don't know, put a couple dollars down, play for like an hour or so. Uh, and here's the, the Mr. Donut. Yeah, when you're at retro game hunting, don't do it on an empty stomach. You're gonna be hungry for all them deals. So I definitely suggest them. They got a they got an upstairs where you can you can kind of chill and do your thing. And we're back at this building where sometimes they have they hold uh, tournaments and whatnot. Anyhow, hope it's not too windy, but or if the audio's coming through. I have headphones, but it's kind of hard hard to hear it. But we're coming up over here and. We have up above here in this building on the, what does it look like, the sixth, sixth floor? I don't know, yeah, sixth floor. Let me go ahead and tilt up, uh, kind of right here. That is the Yellow Submarine. So if you're into like uh, fantasy games, um, those games that require the dice role-playing, I think you call them, that's that's a yellow submarine is what you want to check out. They're all over Tokyo, that one's pretty big, and they actually have, uh, they actually have tables so you could, uh, you know, make your purchases and buy. And some of the board games they have are pretty, uh, pretty old. I'm not really into that, but I had a friend that took me there once, he was into, that was his thing. You know, nerd culture. But, then we have one store, which is the Mulan Satellite Store. And this store, there's been a, more than once where I've made some purchases here. All the retro games are like in the back. And you can get some pretty good deals here. They don't have very many games, but the ones that they do are, you know, they're always complete, pretty good shape. So I definitely recommend that you guys uh, hit up Mulan. And it's very tight in there. But even if you see here, they got like a PS, PS3 and, you know, some games like that. But they got, they got a lot of, uh, they, got, they got retro for sure. Um, and what else? What else? Oh yeah, there's over, I guess we can head down there. Let me, let me tilt up on that Star Fox. Got it in reverse. But there's this soft map here. That's gonna be on my right and in the blue. And the soft map has all sorts of figures and their third floor has all like the games and whatnot. It's mainly like modern stuff, although they have a, they have a handful of like, uh, you know, retro, retro things. But anyhow, let's go ahead and go back. Come across. All sorts of capsule toys too. Maybe I'll show you guys some. 
but let's let's wait for the light here. Um, let's go ahead and walk by the book off because the book off can sometimes not have any good deals, but all their prices seem to be fixed. They're all like the same price. So sometimes they have like a pretty good game in stock and it, it ends up being uh, cheaper just because they don't really make any distinctions with the price. They just kind of price everything at the, as the same regardless of, but occasionally, you know, they might have something really rare and they will price it. But I did pick up Wolf Fang there and yeah, I, I, I didn't pay that much. I got lucky, but let's go ahead, go this way. We're coming back. And this is, mind you, didn't take that long to do the walk, but you know, if you're there, you're gonna be, you're gonna be spending quite a bit of time at each shop. All right, let me just adjust. All right, here we go. But well, there's a few other places. Let's uh, let's go. Well, not really a few. Just well, let's uh, let's head on down. Gee, this thing gets heavy after a while. Good thing I'm a strong man. All right, so. I'm gonna come up around here. And this, this whole place, like, um, let me, like this building here, uh, this whole building is uh, brand new. They've been working on it for, for quite some time. I think they were trying to get it done in time for the, the 2020 Olympics, but, um, well, they, they, they did, they got it done. Anyhow, but it's, a, it's definitely a lot nicer. It used to be kind of grimy, but it really, gives a, it really gives this area a nice touch. Then this building, this building here in the corner with the green stripe that's an adult shop it's like quite a few stories and i think there's certain certain levels that they'll only allow men in so they could make their purchases without feeling any any guilt just get it online bro anyhow we'll come this way and I've actually passed quite a few uh, used electronics stores. So if you're looking for like tablets, uh, lenses, all sorts of other stuff, you know, you could definitely find it. Um, so it's pretty good. All right, and then we're coming up on the book of Ah, ah, ah. A little dark. I got a neutral density filter here just so I don't overexpose the shots. Little figure store on my, on my left. But in here, we have the, the hard off, or book off, sorry. We have book off here. And in order to go in there, you know, you have to have and in order to go into a lot of these shops, currently you have to have a face mask. So if you don't believe in that, or if you're gonna be pulling a crazy Karen, don't even think about going in because they're, they're just gonna ask you to leave. And let me cross the street because there's another place that I recommend, uh, I recommend you visit and you probably will. But all sorts of restaurants around, usually what I like to do is, uh, you know, go to a few shops, kind of price what I'm after. It's always good to 
to have your essentials list. But I usually, you know, will do that kind of price things and then I'll go have something to eat and then make my purchases. Um, when I come out here, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much gonna spend quite a few hours. Even though I only live about like, geez, 15, 20 minutes away by the Yamanote line, AKA the Yamanari. Now this here, this is a pop-up shop. So it constantly changes and uh, SNK, Konami have taken that thing over and put up like a temporary, temporary store. But, all right, here we go. Let's keep walking. And here we're coming up on the flagship Yodabashi store. I believe the fifth floor is where all the video games are at, so it's definitely worth checking out. Um, this thing is huge. The I think it's the third and the fifth floor are my favorite. The third has all like the all the the cameras and whatnot. And yeah, I definitely recommend you know you stop by. If you go to the very very top, they even have like batting cages, which I've done. That's pretty fun. And then if you see here. There's also a floor, the, the game floor also has like a bunch of these, uh, bunch of these uh, capsule. Let's see what they got. See, they got, they got all sorts of stuff. So if you're into this kind of stuff, I do. I buy these occasionally. I got a small connect, collect, collection. But yeah, look at this. And the stuff that's up on the flip floor, like even bigger. Look at this thing, Chucky. He's still respected in Japan. Mostly forgotten back home. Ah. Uh, all right. And. Okay, let me. Let me head back. Because. I think. We've done our uh, our basic tour. Although if you if you keep heading this way, there's a Burger King. So if you're not <laughs> if you're not into like Japanese food, you could always rely on that old uh, on that old classic burger. But anyhow, let me go ahead and back. Let me go ahead. And, let me go ahead and go back to the station. Then we'll uh, we'll kind of wrap things up. All right, y'all. All right, guys. So we're back at. Habara Station. We went on a small tour. Hopefully in the future I'll be able to record inside the stores to get you guys a little bit of higher quality content. But um, it was just on a whim. I wanted to come out here to show you guys the current state of Akiba during the COVID-19 pandemic. Because um, as you can see there's hardly any tourists and anybody who's non-Japanese like myself is just a long-term resident that's been living in Japan you know with the, with the visa and whatnot. So it's kind of a unique time, but one of my recommendations when you're coming out here, you know, you want to start early and the most important thing is have a full stomach. You don't want to come here hungry because you're going to be, you're just going to be going after any old deal. Everything's going to be looking good. So, you know, have a, have a full stomach, do a little uh, tour of all the shops, kind of price things. After you do that, you know, have a donut at Mr. Donut or, you know, just take a little break, kind of collect your thoughts and then make all your purchases afterwards. Uh, number two, you want to be dressed comfortably and that's specifically with, with your shoes. Now if you see these shoes, they they're kind of have like this light foam and it's perfect for, perfect for you know, long hours because you're going to be here probably all day and that's especially true if you're visiting Japan because uh, to come out here to Akihabara for multiple days, you know, kind of not very efficient. It's better to just stick to one day here, you know, get all your shopping done and, you know, having comfortable shoes is definitely going to help you. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Retro Rewire. I'll have more of these 
small excursions in the future, hopefully with higher quality uh, content and whatnot. But anyhow, thank you for checking out Retro Rewire and we'll see you very soon. Ciao.